Hello, once again, you are welcome to today's class. My name still remains Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studio. Today we shall be looking at how to apply material on your building. Materials like painting material, tiles material, terrazzo material, POP material, any kind of building material, just name it. Wooden material, flooring material. How do you apply these things on your building to make it look beautiful? You can see that this our building is uh, how do they call it now? Is one colored? I've got mono, is it not is it monochrome or what do they call it? When, when something is having one color, so it is having a uniform color, but you want to use a combination combination of colors to beautify your building. How do you do that? I want us to apply color and materials on this building. To do that, you go to your 3D view. When you go to your 3D view you make sure you have already created the materials you want to apply on it. You make sure, I repeat, make sure you have already created the materials you want to apply on it. For example, you know, we created this tiles material, we created this pillar-based material, uh, which other material did we create? We did not create the gypsum board, but that one is there by default. So we are going to create more colors, additional colors that we are going to add to this stuff including our roof, we are going to create roof material. So, the next, what we have to do now is to go and create the materials we need. The materials you need, you have to create them by yourself. You have to create them. So, to create materials, what do I do? I go to manage, click on manage. I go to materials here, click on materials. Then I come to this ball here, click on it, I select create new material. When I go to this default new material, I right click on it and click rename. The first material I have to click, I have to create is the, the paint. The paint material, I, have to, I want to use two colors. I want to use two colors for this building. So I have to create paint one and paint two. So I say zero, three, paint one i go to appearance click on appearance then i go to this replace asset click on it i come to appearance i double click on it then i go to wall paint i double click on it it's going to bring different colors for me i love this color so much Bridu. That's the color most people call Abuja, Abuja Brown. I click on Bridu. Then the color looks too thick. I want it to be lighter than this. So I click on this color, on the color itself. Click on it. It's going to bring me this chart. If I click, if I go upwards and click, the color will become lighter. This is it. This is the original color. This is the new color now. If I come towards this, it is increasing. From, at the more I'm coming down, the more it is increasing until it becomes black but i don't want that i want it to be a little bit faint light so i click on this that is the color i want but let me add some thickness to it okay so i click ok that is my paint number one and this is the preview i come again i click on this same ball again and click create new material i come here and rename this and call it zero four don't mind the numbers I'm giving them. That number I'm giving them is for them to be arranged serially so that I won't find it difficult to locate them when I'm looking for them. So I say paint two. Paint two. When I say paint two, I still come. I do not need to come. I do not need to come here again because this one is still open. So I click down. I go down to select another color. Another color. I may select this dark red. I click on it and select it. That is my paint too. What other material do I need to create now? Okay, my roof material. I need to create material for my roof. So I click on this ball again. I have not clicked. Okay. I click apply to make it take effect. So I come here again on this ball. Click on this ball. Click on create new material. Then I come here. Default new material, I right-click on it, I rename it. Then I'm going to I'm going to call this one 05 
roof material roof material roof material so for me to get my roof material now this is the difference when i was looking for my paints i selected paint from wall paint but for the roof material you cannot find it under here go for roofing you can see roofing here double click on roofing when you double click on roofing it's going to bring for you different styles or different options of roof you can use so i scroll down so select one of them all these things you are seeing are roof styles roof materials i'm looking for the one i'm going to use the roof material that i'm going to use okay let me use this red color so I select this Spanish style. I click on it. I click apply. Then I click OK. I am true. So what I'm done now, I've created my material. It's time for me to now begin to apply them. First and foremost, I have to apply crack ties on the lower part of my building. So what do I do? I click on modify. Then I look for, you see this material? Paint. I come under geometry. Look for under geometry. You see paint. Click on it. Not the arrow, click on the icon. Then I want to paint my what is it called again? Lower part of my building. I select crack type, click on crack, crack type. Then I begin to click on the, the surface. I click here, click here. The surface, take notes. I click here. Then I rotate the building. I click here. I rotate the building again. I click here. Make sure you are clicking on the surface. I click here and I click here. So I'm done with that. I have to paint my building itself. I use paint one. Paint one. I click on this surface. I click on this surface. I rotate my building. I click on this surface. I click on this surface. I rotate my building again. I click on this surface, this surface, this surface. I rotate my building. Okay, that's all. Then, where do I use paint too? I want to use it in this front, okay? I'm going to use it in the inner, in my veranda. I'm going to use paint. I'm going to use, I'm going to use paint too. In my inner, in my veranda, in, in, in my verandas, that's where I'm going to use it. So I have to rotate this building up so I can see the veranda very well. So I have to use it here. So I click on the paint two. I click here. I rotate the building. I click here. I rotated this side again so I can see this place. I click here. So I turn the building around. For this entrance porch, this beam here, I want to use the crack ties. So I click on the crack ties, click here, click here. And I will also click here. My building is becoming beautiful now. Okay, this is it. So, the next thing I have to do is to add roof material to this. Now, it may interest you to know that the way you apply materials on your on your distant, on your wall is not the same way you apply it on your roof. Okay? It's not the same way you apply it on your roof. To apply the material on your roof, you have to click on the roof. When you click on the roof, you come here under edit type, under your properties. Click on edit type. When you come to edit type, you now click. You can, if you like, you can duplicate it. In fact, let's just duplicate it. Click on duplicate. Then let's just call this. Let's give it a name. Roof, a generic roof. Um, tiles. Let's call it tile. Because it is Spanish tiles. So I click OK. I click on edit. 
Then I come under material. I click on by category. I click on this ellipsis, this box here. Click on that box. Then all of them will come out. Then I come here and select roof material. Click on the roof material and click OK. Then click OK again and click OK for the last time. Then click outside. Then the material will be applied on your roof. But you can see that this roof tiles looks tiny. You can increase it. How do you increase it? <clears throat> if you want to increase the size of the tiles, how do you do that? You go to material. Go to manage. Go to material. When this thing comes out, always say, save the project. So you go to the roof material again, click on it, click on appearance. It's going to bring you the preview of the the preview of the material. Click on that preview on the picture image. Click on it and wait. It is coming up. So this thing will come out. It's going, it is showing you the dimensions of these roof tiles. You can see this one is 1219. 866 so you can increase it if you increase this value it is going to increase on your building so you can find that on that scale 1219 you can make this one to be 1800 when you make it 1800 click inside of the second one automatically that one will give, will give you its own dimension do not bother again to the, uh, to edit that one just simply click done when you click done click ok then the size will increase. If you still want to increase it more, you still go back to that place and do the same thing. The choice is yours. So this is our building. Let's view it from the 3D view. So this is a, how our building has appeared now. We are going to stop here. In the next class, we are going to talk about how to render. No, but before we talk about how to render, we are going to look at how to landscape your building, how to put cars, how to put trees how to put human being and how to before we now talk about how to render your tree